Is that enough for you as an apology? You know, look, this is something that I have faced all of my life. If it's, it was Don Lemon yesterday, it was Whoopi Goldberg the day before, there will be somebody else tomorrow. I have always made the liberals' heads explode. They can't stand the fact that a minority conservative female would not be on the Democratic side because they know I pull independents. They know I pull suburban women. They know I pull minorities over to what we are trying to do. And look, he made that comment. I wasn't sitting there saying sexist, middle-aged CNN anchors need to have mental competency tests, although he may have just proven that point. Um, but look, the liberals are going to continue to show themselves. They can't stand the fact that I am a Republican and I am a conservative. And you know what? It rolls off my shoulders. I don't don't think too much about well, it. Well, the New York Post calls it lemon squeezed. Uh, maybe you feel the same. Just possibly. There's Nikki Haley continuing her media tour since she's announced her run for president. And that's in response to Don Lemon, as he popped up there, saying some other things about Nikki Haley that was just straight out of bounds. Let's keep it real. If you guys missed it, watch. Notice Nikki Haley when she said that yesterday. Obviously, a dig at Biden, but she said 75 and up. So that would include Trump. Elder statesman here. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you that's talking about? Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime so for what? I, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll say, if you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s, and 40s. I don't necessarily. 40s. Oh, I got it in another decade. I'm not decade. saying I agree with that. Whoopsies, <laughs> it was pretty obvious once it happened, what then went down. Jordan, I want your opinion on that first part. And, and that's what we saw, because I like to analyze the body, uh, the body uh, emotions of other folks as she saw that go down, the facial expression shift and he knew it was a problem then. Yeah, I look, in the grand <laughs> scheme of things in recent history at CNN, it is you know, far from the worst thing that's happened there, but it's still really bad. Uh, you just don't say that. It's just kind of, you know, professional etiquette 101. Uh, and within that is a, a deep misogyny. But the just seeing him telling two women on his panel to Google when women are in their prime as if that's something <laughs> that women don't are aren't already faced with through societal pressure to always look young and always appear younger than they are and never can reveal their age. Like, like just, just Google when women are on their prime. You'll be surprised what you find. <laughs> Do you don't think they think about this stuff already? It was, it was really bizarre. I, I have news, then they won't be surprised for what they see. They've heard yeah. it and people talking about it all the time. But that did not stop Nikki Hitta from acting like that's something that she didn't hear until Don Lemon said so because she tweeted out again this is part of the campaign so you can expect this this is actually if she didn't do it i would be disappointed in her so she tweeted this out liberals can't stand the idea of having competency tests for older politicians to make sure they can do their job i'm sure republicans don't have they also have an issue with that the 85 year olds by the way it's always the liberals who are the most sexist that she tosses that on as she point out and also i make liberal heads explode and all that it all goes back to her campaign, which makes you wonder, does she care about the fact that he said this ridiculous thing? Or does she look to use that to fuel her political run? Questions I think could be asked. Still though, Don Lemon apologized, this was also expected. This is what he tweeted. The reference I made to a woman's quote prime this morning was inartful and irrelevant. As colleagues and loved ones have pointed out, and I regret it. A woman's age doesn't define her either personally or professionally. I have countless women in my life who prove that every Day. There was no apology in there, but still, I guess regretted is what we take as the apology. He regrets it. You can regret things and sometimes not apologize them. But for still, he went down that road, and of course, people assumed he was forced to do so. But the CEO of CNN is also not thrilled about this. Chris, <clears throat> excuse me, Chris uh, uh, liked, I believe, uh, isn't happy that he has spoken and he spoke to Don a couple times today, is what a post source said. Don knows it can't happen again. And at a town hall meeting, Light reportedly said, if saying stupid things becomes a trend for Lemon or others, then there will be 
recourse. We already know his uh, his buddy Chris Cuomo, as they used to toss to each other. One is already gone. So with this recourse, I think we know exactly what that means. One more part here though, because there were some folks who looked to defend Don Lemon. Let's jump down to the last graphic five here, you guys. Um, some folks were looking to defend uh, Don Lemon on this to a degree, because I don't think many people could uh, see that and say right on Don. Unless their names are Tucker Carlson, and uh, I wish we run the clip from yesterday we did of Tucker Carlson talking about uh, Chelsea Handler, because you know only libs deal in the sexism. Still though, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar tried to throw Don Lemon a bit of a bone. He says, "Don, we know where your your heart was in the right place. I think you were referencing women being in their prime during their quote reproductive years. Women are always in their prime because, in my opinion, they get stronger, more courageous, and more beautiful." As they get older, um, I hear you, Kareem. You probably shouldn't have said anything on this. <laughs> I'm just saying. We we know what he was trying to do uh, in saying she's old too, but women age their their limits are sooner than men's. It's a problem, man. It's just a problem. Yeah, I mean, could have done without the first half of that statement, <laughs> Kareem told you, Paul. But he saved at the end. But you know, wonky wording all around. You don't need to throw him a bone. Uh, he's He's an adult. He can, you know, defend his own statements. It also illustrates just the vapid commentary and horse race analysis forwarded by CNN and other cable outlets. That's something they're talking about. What? Why won't you talk about, or or spend more time on, or focus in that moment? But all of the terrible things that she defended and did while in the Trump administration. Mm. They're trying to. There's been this rightward shift at CNN over the past few years. Uh, it, it laid out. By you know the new management, by investors, by all, the board, they want to be more like Fox. They feel like they need to pull viewers from Fox and find more people in the middle, and it results in just this lowest common denominator political analysis that does everyone a disservice. So it's really not surprising when you think it think about it that way. Uh, I guess they push more policy things, and it'll be just too boring, which. I hear that too, because many people don't like watching things that I guess drag on with the normal policy debates. We have to talk about people's ages all the time, which maybe if it has to do with what's happening and what they're doing in office, I can see it. But these are blanket statements that then of course lead to Don Lemon trying to land a shot right back 